Did y'all see Rihanna? What she, what she do? This past week? No. Nah, Maybe yes. I'll find the video. Yeah, she was at a Fenty launch event in Barbados. Mm-hmm. And she was making a speech, which, you know what? I watched it in full and I reported on it. So she was talking a lot about... It was like a speech for the Fenty launch. Um, and she was talking about how her home inspired her so much. And like she, the reason why she does what she does is because of the, um, the influence of her upbringing. And then what people really zeroed in on, what she said... I don't know if this is where, where Savon was going, but she said, oh, you know, music is really what got the attention and really catapulted me into the spotlight. Right. But God had other plans for me. Mm. I'm, I'm going to so, play the clip. Okay, and y'all tell me oh, what y'all take away that's from it. That's it, y'all. No album. Right? So like Reggie said, that was at an event. Yeah. The audio sounds a little ass, but it's okay. We, mm-hmm. we will make do. Um, it sounds like she's just saying what pretty much what Reggie said. Music introduced me to the world. Music is what got me here, but I don't love music. I don't, and she didn't say anything about the industry, but she said, I'm able to do something that I love, which is to create. Yeah. And so I saw a lot of theories on the timeline about, did she, is she not able, like, did her ability to perform, to sing, diminish to the point where maybe she doesn't want to do it? Um, I think that's bullshit because she's Rihanna. <laughs> she and she has just did the Super all Bowl. All the budget. She just did the Super Bowl. While pregnant. Um, but yeah, we going back to just how much is a stream worth? We always have this conversation at least like two to three times a year. I could imagine somebody like a Rihanna who's like, oh, wait, I made billions off of doing something that I really love. I'm never going to make music again. And I don't love music. Like she said, I don't love music without saying I don't love music. I don't think she said I, I disagree. Like, I don't think she like the sentences that we just played was her saying I don't love music. I think. She, if she didn't love music, she wouldn't have given us the phenomenal. She literally went on like a ten album like run of hits, hits, hits. So if she never, if she doesn't love music, I feel like she would have never given us that. I feel like she still loves music, but she just loves what she's doing more. Like she's really like, wow, this beauty thing, like this hair makeup space. I'm like, wow, like I really love this. So that's why she's pursuing it now. But I don't think she's like, hey, I don't love music anymore. I think if you love something, you still participate in it. And I'm not saying it has to be. The focal point of what it is that she's doing, but she has no interest, or it doesn't appear that she has any interest to do anything with music. Other ways to participate in it. She's always bigging up new artists. Like, just are you saying the concept of her making music is what she's lo- yeah. she hates, or just music in general? She, the industry, and just music. It, it just doesn't seem like from what she just said is I'm able to do the things that I love to do. Yeah. Right. And that doesn't mean she doesn't love music, but when she just doesn't put out any music when she good i think I was, that's a sign of hey i just it got me here i think it's more so the industry i was just listening to asap ferg's album shout out to uh ferg it's called daryl something like that and on one of the songs he goes i want to drop every month like future <laughs> you, know that's how he, like that. you know that's how he's rapping okay. but shout out to ferg shout out to delhi what up uptown what up but it just led me to think how depressing the process is and how it could take away your effort and your energy. I don't think the love goes away, though. I, like Ferg, from what I could hear on that album, he definitely still loves music. But just think about how the industry does these artists. Yeah, I was about to say, because de- yeah. in rap, like a lot more comes with it. Like You could compete, Damn. but like it's there's a still a lot of other stuff that, yeah. The, the industry is downsizing. We've talked mm-hmm. about that as well. And not for nothing, I have this theory, and maybe it's not a theory. Maybe it's just, I feel like rap fans are far more fickle than pop fans. Or just like they'll f- turn on the rapper really yes. quick. Yeah. Like pop fans have the thing to just continue to just to be so strong willed in their mm-hmm. fandom for that artist or that person. And just like have fun. Yeah. So with a combination of the label playing with you or the industry playing with you, and then hey, if I don't make the type of vibe that they're looking for, it'll flop. And then if it flops, they're gonna call me a flop, and then that fucks with my confidence. I feel like it's a confidence fucker, but I don't know if the love truly goes away. Maybe she just feels more comfortable and in control with her Fenty Ventures. And she's like, and then on top of, you know, having two kids in the last two years, I think just the timing of like, is like, there's a lot of things that happened in her life that made her not focus on music for so long. Um, I Damn, really. Y'all shooting mad bell. Nah, no bell. I don't think she's making. I don't, think bell. It's making, I it's don't know. It's just awesome human shit. Maybe, yeah, maybe we're just being, bro. You, you, you said that all the time. My fault, Reggie. Yeah, maybe, you. maybe I am being a little optimistic. Like, oh, she doesn't hate music, but maybe Savon's right. She does, and I'm just like not accepting. Think it. Think about what it maybe, takes for Rihanna to put out music. 
one this album is, in nine years could have got done if Rihanna wanted no, it to get done. No, absolutely. I'm a just saying that's a, point. That's a, a single point. once in a while <laughs> could get sure. done if Rihanna wanted to just say, you she's know done, what, guys? She's done music, though. Yeah. But Let's she has. Me up. She got another joint. <laughs> Uh, uh, she does some features. Uh, she does yeah. some, she she has some a, party next door features. She, 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 she has a joint with Khaled. She has a joint with Khaled. That was Khaled. eight. Y'all naming things that happened last decade. No, within the decade. We're in the 2020s. No, all that. The, the song with Bryson Tiller just, did not happen. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure. But the P&D bet, was after. When? P&D was recent. It was on right. P4, right? Yeah, it was on P4, but, no? All right, let's 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 get the or dates P3? on that. And even if she did see. do that one feature, right? But the love for music still there. Because if she <laughs> hated it, why would she do it? Because she owed Party Next Door for all the hits that he wrote for her. So it's like, you know what? I'm going to get on your album. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to do you a and solid. We, yeah, I'm going to do you a solid. And I'm going to give you a, a feature. Like, she doesn't give. She doesn't do features. She's not doing 2020. 2020? That was 2020. Okay. With that's when it door. dropped in 2020. So exactly. it was probably performed, recorded, mm-hmm. and all of that prior to 2020. Oh, we don't know. We could assume. We knowing could. music and knowing the creation of music, we can assume that that probably, it could. if you had to bet, you're a better man. You be on fan, <laughs> just like me. Shout out to us, right? Hey. If you had to bet, she probably didn't do that in the 2020s. It was not performed in the 2020s. I don't know, brother. I'm going to be honest I said you. if you had to bet. I know we don't know. If I had to bet. I don't know because I'm gonna be honest with you. I know artists, <laughs> real shit though, real shit. I know big artists who put music last minute, like on the Big Sean shit, right? He, t- I think he said the Cash Cobain record was last minute. Like mm-hmm. these and things, and for Tyla, her Thames record was literally the day before. The day, yeah, bro. Like these things do happen, bro. We're talking about Rihanna, and we all have worked and yeah. know how it. How long it takes okay. to create music? Yeah. Like I'm not, but, I'm not telling you that you know. No, like we yeah. can assume mm-hmm. if Rihanna made a song and it came out in 2020, mm-hmm. it was probably written, performed, dropped, laid in a year or months prior to 2020. So 20, "Lift Me Up" was uh, out in 2022. That was the one song that uh, what, what it was, was on the Black Panther Black Panther album. Black Panther. <laughs> okay. um, Soundtrack. soundtrack, soundtrack. Okay. So that was twenty. So, all and right, that, so was, that was one recorded. song, but it was a soundtrack. All right, but to your point, that was probably recorded in twenty twenty. That was probably recorded twenty twenty one. So, how many songs has Rihanna put out in the twenty twenties? How None. many features has she been? Okay, so that's what but I'm trying to get my to. My argument is in the process it would take for her to put out a whole project. Is what I'm saying, right? Like women are way different to deal with when it comes to rappers. Rappers, all right, man, we're gonna get you some rapid kits. You go get you a new chain. We're gonna do some new press photos. We're gonna do. The- <laughs> Rihanna is a mega star. Even Cardi B. It speaks to why Cardi B hasn't put out her album mm-hmm. since 2019. She told us she's scared. It's it's just think about so just like the expectations, the expectations, like, what you have to take to do to do. These are mega stars right here, bro. Not your I know, little, I know. your little rappers. But I, I do agree. Yeah. Rihanna should now, just drop that shit though. Because like, now, yeah, she yeah, needs to drop it. Because yeah. then she got to plan the tour. Then you got to plan the tour around the new kids and the the boyfriend. That's true. That. Like I feel like lot. maybe she thinks like, okay, I. I have been working on this album, R9, for the past few years. But then when I drop it, I so much comes with it. And I feel like that maybe is also is what giving what's giving her, like, immense anxiety. Like, how am I going to get away from the kids, like, to the to do the press, the tour? When so I think just, like, get she's getting caught up in her head. And she's like, you know what? I'm not going to drop it. When album. you're Rihanna, you don't have to do any of that. When you're Rihanna, the huh? world is at your mercy. If no, she said, no. I, no, you don't have to tour if you're Rihanna. You have to work the album. Like, work she can't just go. drop it and go away. She, yeah. you have, like, so much comes with dropping mm-hmm. a successful album and making, making sure it does well. Okay, like, I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Yes, she may have to work the album. But going back to the point of megastars, I think Beyonce changed that narrative when she just dropped an album. Ten years ago, Beyonce said, you know what? Nobody knows anything about this. She didn't work the album. Beyonce doesn't do interviews. She just dropped a body of work, and nobody knew it was coming, and the world stopped. (laughs) So I don't think that Rihanna is not on the same level as Beyonce when it comes to that, especially when it's been almost a decade since she dropped. Like, yes, I get it in most cases, especially like a Cardi B. Cardi B only has one album. (laughs) Rihanna has given us uh, an entire body of work (laughs) to where I think she's built the credit with us to just be able to drop the album, not say anything if she didn't want to, and... We're at the mercy of her. This isn't like, it's not a Cardi B comparison in my brain because Cardi B, this will be her sophomore album the next time she actually drops a studio album. Yeah. So there's still left to be desired and still a lot to be proven. Mm-hmm. Rihanna at this point in her career is a legacy act. 
Like, she can tour and eat off of her back catalog mm -hmm. without ever having to drop a new song. And she's still one of them. She just performed at the Super Bowl. Facts. Like, we know what it takes for you to even get on that stage in itself. So for somebody like Rihanna, she doesn't have to work an album if she didn't want to. If she, lo in my opinion. No, yeah. If think, she loved music, mm -hmm. she could just put out the music. And I want to say that I think we all in here agree with that sentiment. No, right, right? I, I think, right? no, to drop an album and make it successful, you do have to work it out. Beyonce, okay. when she drops, she doesn't do interviews, but she goes on a, a like a crazy ass tour every time and she shoots vid visual, <laughs> videos, <laughs> videos for every single song on mm -hmm. the album. Like she, it, that's her way of working the album, making sure it's a success on the charts. Like Rihanna can't just drop a project and run it's away. Like she bro. knows that. She knows she you has to do. You think she would flop? Not flop, but no, no, but she doesn't want to just drop an album and it does well for a week or two. Like, no, she has to do things to make the album successful. She that. knows that. Like, yeah. I do agree with that. But it's still Rihanna, the, bro. Like. No, I, but again, we're fans, so it's easy for us to say that. When you're the actual artist behind it and you have to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with in your head on the process of what to do it or how confident you are, mm -hmm. that's when things sway. But like, yeah, so, yeah. We, we would take any Rihanna music right now. We don't give a fuck. Hey, drop all now. What's yeah. up? And for the record, she's had two drops, two singles sent in the 2020s era. And not for nothing, man. <sighs> Let's go to her albums, right? Yeah. 07, 09, 2010, 20, uh, 2011, 2012, 2016. 06 and 05, too. 06 and 05. Yeah. She's given us a lot. She yeah. has. Yeah. She, she definitely has. But it, it just goes back to the clip that we played with her. It doesn't sound, and it is okay. Like, you don't have to love the things that you was introduced as, as the person or the occupation that you was introduced to the world as, right? Like, they, there is a thing as pivoting in your career. And she's clearly pivoted. She doesn't need to love music in that way. I think from the clip that we played, it sounds like maybe she just doesn't love music or the music industry or the things that come with music. Again, some of the theories on Reddit, y'all know I'll be deep diving in Reddit, <laughs> what um, are they was that they you know they some of her ability may have diminished. Her vocals, her ability to sing, um, her ability to perform, whether it be because of her voice, um, yeah, th those are some of the things that I saw. Also, we don't know her record label deal, if she's even in a deal. If she dropped, would she be independent? Is she still signed to the label that she was when she uh, finished? Like, you just listed how consecutive she dropped albums. Mm -hmm. We've seen artists do that where they're like, yo, I just want to get out of this deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just give you everything I got, and <laughs> now I'm free. Mm -hmm. And it feels like maybe she could have even done that. 